and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be making some brown stew fish these are the two seasonings that i'm going to be using to fry up my fish before i go ahead and make the gravy i've got three powdered fish here which has been washed and cleaned with some lemon and vinegar also removed all of the scales on that as well and my two seasonings is the barren seafood seasoning and a bit of onion salt so let me show you how i season this up ready for frying okay so i flipped it over onto the other side and then I'm gonna just lightly season it on here as well. Okay, and make sure your fish is dry when you're doing this. And then what we're gonna do now is to go in with our seafood seasoning and just to put a light coat on that as well. On the outer, on either sides, basically. And then lastly, I'm gonna put some on the insides as well. Okay, so just flip it over. Flip it over. Then go in with the seafood seasoning and just put a light layer on there as well. Okay, and you know you shouldn't forget the insides as well. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you put a good amount on the insides of your fish. As well okay and I also forgot to show you guys where I put a slit into the fish which is just on the side here and we're just putting in a little seasoning in that all right so there you have it nicely seasoned with our barren food fish seasoning okay so we're gonna set that to one side give it a good little rub first and then we're going to um fry it up okay let's give it a nice little more like a pat because you don't really want the seasonings to come off okay it's a nice little pat so that everything can just stick to it nicely okay there we go very easy and simple to do i've also gone ahead and put my fish in half and I'm just waiting for my oil to get hot. Okay, ready? to fry for at least 10 minutes about five minutes on either side okay and you want to refrain from turning the fish around too quick or playing with it too much because then the skin starts coming off and then it starts peeling and all of those other really stuff that we don't want okay so i'm gonna ahead and turn my fish over okay And I think it is ready. And the dark mass you can see is actually from the seafood seasoning. So it's nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take them off and place it on a clean paper towel over there so these are the first three pieces fried and set aside i'm just going ahead now to fry the head pieces okay so looking good so far this is our fish all fried up okay and now we're gonna make our sauce all right looking delicious so i'm going in with the same pot that i fried the fish in i just cleaned it up and i'm putting about a tablespoon of oil nothing much okay and after putting my oil i'm gonna go in with some onions So this is 
these are our onions all added to the pot. Our onions have been added to the pot. So what I'm going to be adding next is my uh, peppers. Okay. Followed by my thyme and spring onion. Okay. I've also got um, three cloves of garlic in here. So we're just going to be using that. So that goes through there as well. Okay. ahead and added a pinch of black pepper okay nothing too much then I'm going in with some ketchup about a tablespoon all right then we're gonna take some water and add it to here okay then we're gonna stir that up and we're gonna let it simmer for at least five to ten minutes okay and before I forget, let's add some of our seafood seasoning to that sauce as well. Okay, there you go. As you can see, this is simmering away nicely. I'm going to go ahead and add in a small seasoning cube to that. This is totally optional. You can add some all-purpose seasoning if you want. But I find the small seasoning cube gives it a nice little flavor. Okay, so I'm just going to let it simmer for at least five more minutes before we go ahead and add in our fish one by one. Okay. So last but not least, I'm going in with about two drops of my browning. Okay, that's that. And I'm going to just stir that up. And then I'm going to put in my fish. Okay. Let that simmer nicely. Okay. It's time to add in our fish one by one. Okay. I'm only going to be putting the fish tails in there. Okay, and we're going to let that simmer. Possibly put a head in there as well. I'm not sure. Don't want to overcrowd the pot. Okay. There you go, my lovelies. All done. 